Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. I am going to be doing a, not exactly a review, but more just showing you all the Oracle of Dr. John D. Now this is a, it's not necessarily an Oracle deck in the conventional sense and certainly isn't a tarot deck, but I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So this is the box. It's kind of a large box. It's sturdy. This is what the back of the box looks like. You know, John Dee was, you know, the Elizabethan magician who worked with Edward Kelly to, uh, I guess, not channel, but receive an angelic language called Enochian, which he used to communicate with the angels and ask them questions. Anyway, this is an oracle, I guess, um, that is uh, devoted to that. This is the guidebook. It's a really good sized book and uh, it's in a nice sepia tone. This is the template that you read the cards on, and here are the cards. There aren't that many cards, I don't remember how many there are. So I'll show you the cards in a moment. So uh, first let's look at the template. Let me move this aside. So the template looks like this. It's actually really large. But this is a smaller picture of the template. And the whole template is about pretty big. So what it is is you have the cards. You know, you ask your question, you shuffle the cards, and then this is what the backs look like as well. And the cards are okay stock. They feel they lean more towards a cardboard stock, but they're thin and they're not that horrible kind of cardboard, so they're not so bad. You shuffle the cards, you know, and then you put a card on each one of these little castles, which are considered, I guess, the watchtowers, if you're familiar with that. And as well, I think one card goes in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a little while since I used them. So uh, and basically, all the cards are put into different categories. You see up here it says Green Physician. So there's different groups, there's, I think, the Physicians, the Astrologers, I think there might be Astronomer, here we have Astrologer geographer so there's different groups like that and within these larger groups like geographers or astrologers there's different colors so there's the silver the green the red the gold and basically depending on which um which one of these four directions the card is in it has a different meaning that helps to answer your question specifically and I'll show you that in a second. Now, I wanted to show this on this channel because I don't know that I've ever seen anyone talk about it. I'm sure there are other reviews of this on, on YouTube, of course, but I've hardly seen anything mentioned about this. And as somebody who is very interested in Enochian magic and high magic, I thought it was a very um, interesting deck, an interesting tool, an interesting method for divination. Now, uh, I don't remember where I got this. I might have even I think I got it on Amazon. So uh, the cards of the different categories like Alchemist and Astrologer, John D is one person in each one of these categories, but there's also a lot of other historical figures, like this one says Nicholas Flamel, Robert Flood. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through the cards so you can all get a feel for what the cards look like themselves, and then I'll... Uh, Maybe show you the book.
So that's where all the cards are. So as you can see, there are many different historical figures. So let's have a look at the book so you can see exactly what I mean. The book is in hardcover. It's obviously paperback, but it's pretty sturdy. This deck is very uh, interesting. So there's a, a bit about the um, like the life story of John D. There's about um, the this this talisman here. There's information about that. So you get a even if you don't know that much about him, you get a brief historical rundown about him. So that way you won't be left in the dark. There's information about the Enochian alphabet itself. So you see there's a lot. There's actually a lot. All of this. Here we're about talking about the Oracle deck itself. The cards on the towers. So you see there's different uh, categories. So you ask a question. And depending on... Uh, what your the subject of your question is depending on where the cards fall that's the advice you take and the card that falls in the tower in the direction that is the most directly relevant to your question kind of takes priority over the other answers or it's just especially important because it directly correlates to the question that you ask these are the different uh, categories of people in the deck i guess you could say and the things that they preside over So you see, it's a nice, it's a really nice little system. So you see north is work and influences. South is intention and direction. West is love and inspiration. And east is health and well-being. The center is, represents you and harmony. So, and then there's a little bit about the angels that represent each one of the towers. think that the deck was very uh, inexpensive I want to say it was $17 don't quote me on that I'm I, I bought this deck a while back I think over, I've had it over two years maybe I think I don't remember it being expensive at all so at the beginning of each section for each type of card there's like a bit of information about the card and then for each card right you have a picture of the card you have what it means if it's in each direction, here's the, the, the west meaning. North, center. So you, so you see wherever the card falls, you have a little paragraph to read of interpretation for it. One thing I really like about the deck also is that at the bottom of each section, depending on where the card falls, there's a question. And the question is always really nice because it really gives you something to think about in regards to the question you're asking. And I actually really like that. And it basically just does that for the whole deck. I'm really happy that the deck has the pictures of the cards in the book. And the book is sturdy enough that I feel like I can take it with me without it completely falling apart, at least not right away. Here's some information about the symbol that's on the back of the cards and different ways you can work with the Oracle. So as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty good deck. This is the Enochian alphabet. So you see there's a, a lot, there's even some extra information here. There's meditation. So you see how many, it's 112 pages. There's the back of the book. So uh, this deck, I've only used it maybe four or five times. And every time I've used it, it's been extremely accurate and it's been uh, very invaluable when it comes to giving me interpretations or answers to the questions that I have because it's given me a lot to think about. I honestly should probably go ahead and start using it a lot more often because it's just that good, at least for me. In my experience, it's been really accurate and really profound when it, go it comes to giving me answers to anything I'm asking about. So that's basically it. That's my review for the um, the Oracle of Dr. John D. Only thing I will say is that this 
this is just paper, it's just folded a piece of paper, so I might end up getting it laminated later on so it doesn't get damaged or messed up. It's also printed on this kind of shiny golden paper, which is actually really aesthetically pleasing. But because it is just paper, I'm always concerned about it getting accidentally ripped or worn. So I might end up laminating it just to prolong its lifespan. So thank you so much for watching. That is my, I guess it was a review in the end of the Oracle of Dr. John D. If you want more reviews for other things, then have a look around on my channel as I have many other tarot and Oracle deck reviews. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next one. Take care.